Hey guys, I'm Koei, here to revive Past Life Pro, and for today, as a result of many hours of testing out shader code, I'm going to show you exactly how you can get Palm and Parallax Waters both enabled for the SUS V10.2 Preview 1 Ultra Shader. This shouldn't take long, so let's begin. First of all, we're going to be working with the SUS Shader, so be sure to have that on your desktop. Secondly, and most importantly, we're going to be working with a Minecraft 1.7.2 client, so do make sure you have a working shaders compatible client ready to go. If you don't happen to have a shaders compatible client, then do click on the video I'm annotating over the screen. It should take you to a previous video of mine that will give you the rundown on everything you need to know to get shaders working for your Minecraft 1.7.2 client. First step, let's extract the files to the desktop. When you've done that, open up the folder and click shaders. From here, we're going to start with enabling the palm or parallax occlusional mapping. So locate gbuffers underscore terrain.fsh. Open the text file. When you've done that, I want you to locate line 24 and remove the two slashes next to hashtag define parallax. Now palm is active. But before we go on to activating the parallax waters, I want you to scroll up to line 21. This step is completely optional, but adding higher values to this stretch of code here will make the 3D effect for blocks more noticeable. For my preference though, I usually keep it at default just because I find it looks smoother and less rustic that way, but that's how I like it. Anyway, save, and let's move on to enabling parallax waters. Alright, as of now, find gbuffers underscore water dot fsh. Open that up, and locate line 293. Delete the two slashes next to position, and you will have enabled the parallax waters. But we still have one more step to go, so scroll up and locate line 3. Now this one is pretty much optional, but adding higher values to this code will make the water more slimy looking. That's probably the best way to put it, but for my personal taste, I like to set the number to 0.95F. Save, and let's check out the shader in Minecraft. Now if you made it through this tutorial with no errors and everything's working just fine, then give yourself a pat on the back for a job well done. But before I go, I just want to let you know if you'd like to also learn how to add volumetric clouds for this same shader, then click on the video I have annotated above. If this video was of any use to you, then do hit that like button. And before you go, don't forget to check out my channel for some more Minecraft tutorials, some pro quality cinematics, and a bunch of other videos that you should not miss. Alright, I'm Cody, and this is Past Life Pro, where creativity is always a part of my life, as it will be for yours. Alright, see you guys!